Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 161, where I'm going to show you a common error in Quantrix and how to fix it. It is called too few items from category XYZ specified on the left side of the formula. Extra items on the right will be ignored. I have here a model and what I'm trying to calculate is the percent of total for each one of these accounts. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take the forecast and I want to divide it by the total company forecast here at the bottom for all of the operating expense accounts. Okay, so I would expect to see these accounts add up to 100% if I were to take company up here and do total company. I'd expect to see all of these add up to 100% and indeed that is happening. So my, for, my formula that I have down here that calculates this, again if I were just to click on this, and show that my formula is actually the percent of total which equals the forecast divided by the operating expense use total. The problem is is I'm getting this error that says too few items from category metric so my metric is forecast and percent of total are specified on the left side of the formula which is over here on this side of the equal sign and my extra items on the right will be ignored and I'm like, well, I don't, I don't quite understand what this is saying, so I'm going to open up the dependency inspector and see if that can maybe help me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Control D to open up the win dependency inspector, because that's uh, really the first place you ought to start with every time. Every time you uh, need to debug a formula is just hit Control D and go to the dependency inspector. And what I'm seeing here is, well, it's taking the forecast, which is 354. 263 which is correct and I want to divide it by 666 111 so if I go ahead and I look at that again I'm seeing 6, 666 111 so it's doing exactly what I want it to do so I mean what's the deal why can't I why can't I why can't why can't this just work well I have to think about it a little bit longer and I have to realize that what I'm telling it to do is I'm telling it to take the forecast category or the forecast item here, which is 354 or 126, so on and so forth, and I want to divide it by the operating expense, so operating expense used total, okay, which is right here. That's what I, that's what I'm telling it to do is to divide it by this right here, okay. I'm not telling it to divide it by the forecast right here so what I need to do is actually I need to get a little bit more detailed here and I need to simply say I want to take the total operating expense use forecast and divide it by that and once I do that now my formula is completely balanced I'm taking forecast and I'm dividing it by forecast before what I was telling Quantrix to do was to take forecast and divide it by this range here and it just didn't understand it so it was giving me that error of too few item categories for metric specified on the left side of the formula so sometimes uh, I find it a little uh, easier to think about this in regards to yeah it's saying I've got a problem here on my left side of the formula but really I need to fix it on the right Anyway, I know that's maybe a little bit uh, convoluted, but over time, maybe I'll do a few more podcasts as I come up on these errors. But I hope you do find that useful and you do give some pause on maybe how to fix this in the future. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. I hope that you will join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.